A concert or sporting event that you paid good money for doesn't happen because of COVID-19. Lots of you have contacted us asking, what are my rights? Well, Kara Levin's Lauren Lemanchek discovered it may depend on whether it was canceled or postponed. Mike Giannoli had planned on taking his family to a wild game last month. Would have been a good time. Would have been a real good time. A Christmas present from his wife. Six tickets for 900 bucks purchased through the website Vivid Seats. The game never happened. The email from Vivid Seats indicating since the game was postponed, not canceled, there would be no refund. Their website says COVID-19 has massively disrupted every aspect of the event ticketing business. I don't know if I'm going to want to go back to that game when it's rescheduled. Until they find an antibody or they get a miracle cure, you don't, you don't want to go into a crowded stadium. As events throughout the Twin Cities fall victim to COVID-19, the policies of ticket sellers are under a microscope. A Wisconsin man filed this federal lawsuit against StubHub because of their policy. During the COVID crisis, StubHub is giving credits rather than refunds for canceled events. Ticketmaster sparked outrage by changing their refund policy to say only canceled events are automatically refunded. Live Nation, which owns Ticketmaster, telling Care 11 the unprecedented volume of over 30,000 events impacted has led to event organizers needing additional time to reschedule before deciding to offer refund options. You can't talk to anybody. Sue Volek planned to take her kids and grandkids to Frozen at the Orpheum. Very excited, looking forward to it. But the show's postponed, and Sue says Ticketmaster wouldn't refund her family's six tickets. I understand that this isn't the ticket agencies. They didn't bring this on themselves but also the people didn't either. Hennepin Theater Trust, who puts on Frozen, says they just need time. Obviously, they say new dates won't always work for everyone. We work directly with those ticket holders. And that's a win for the wild! For Mike, the solution to all of this is easy. They should cancel, give us our refunds. I like the money in my wallet rather than theirs. So what can you do? The Minnesota Attorney General's office tells me, unfortunately, there's no specific law about this in Minnesota, but they advise try to dispute the charge through your credit card company. If that doesn't work, you can fill out a consumer assistance request with the AG's office and they'll try to mediate the situation. We have a link to that form in our story at care11.com. For Care 11 Investigates, I'm Lauren Lemanchek. Well, here's another question a lot of you have been asking. What should we do with 